next guest is embracing the fact that he's got Tourette's. His name is Uncle Tix. You can find his videos on Facebook and Instagram. Please welcome to the show, Uncle Tix. Hey. Here he is. Welcome, Fucking mate. Hell, I'm right here. That's how are we? <laughs> I am fantastic. Hey, thanks for uh, giving us a little bit of time and having a chat with us. We do appreciate it. How How's um, things in the mighty Tron? Um, yeah, Hamilton's dumb STDs. Um, no, Hamilton's amazing, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful place. Sunny right now. It was raining, but yeah, fuck yeah. Um, we on. Can we peel right back to the very start? When did you get diagnosed with Tourette's? Um, okay, so, fa fuck. My mum, this is oh, way back. I was nine years old, but before then, my mum, oh, when I was two, she could see me. I was, I was a freaky little kid. Um, I was playing the Nintendo because I used to have one. And um, I was sitting there on my bloody Nintendo and I was blinking like this. Fuck! And she was like, to my nana, Jesus Christ, we've got to get this bloody kid seen to. He's a fucking, look at him. He's blinking like that, mum. And he's, and, oh yeah, we better, him look, better get him looked at. So, um, anyway, cut, cut the bloody track, cut the years down, and then we got to the age of nine. This lovely lady by the name of Kay, bless her soul, fuck. Um, she goes, you know, he's definitely something wrong with him. He's definitely got Tourette's. And that's, that's, that was how the story happened. <laughs> so has it always been, what sort of ticks do you go through? Because I know that Tourette's, is a, it's a long sliding scale. So it could be, it could be anything from like a, a, a head movement or an arm movement or a word or it's, like you said, blinking of your eyes. What ticks well, do you have? Funnily enough, ever since you guys um, said you wanted to do this interview with me, I've been walking around a bloody house saying, Roger's bald. So I love you, Rod. You are bald, and I love you, mate. But apart, can you just feel it bubbling up within you, and there's just no way that it cannot come out? Is it? Because I mean, obviously, for myself and Dunks, we don't have it, and I don't personally know anyone, though I'm not close but, to anyone that does. So, is, is it something that's completely uncontrollable? What does it feel like yeah. in your body? If I don't do it, it builds up to the point where I'll hurt myself so bad. So um, I'll be at weddings because I film weddings as a professional videographer, and like I have to take these like little yellow things. And it's not drugs, but it's like these um oh, these little yellow capsules. I put them in my mouth. What are they called, Livy? Rescue. Rescue remedies. That's it. And I put them in my mouth, and I just literally bite my tongue so I'm not so loud. And then as soon as the ceremony's over, I run outside and swear, "Fuck, she's a big bitch." Roger's bald. Sorry, Roger, you're not bald. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> you're gonna fucking hate me at the end of this. <laughs> So you've and and you're in a relationship. What is it? What is your what is your girlfriend make of all of this? How did you meet her? Yeah, I've been with my lovely girlfriend for like three and a half years. Oh, yep, yeah, she's she's beautiful. She's amazing. She puts up with a lot of bullshit. And fuck, she's a good bitch. <laughs> it was brought to the the forefront of New Zealand's minds uh, when the TV wow. when the show was on. Was it the tick the tick camp or? Camp tick or... I saw one um, and it was out of the UK and it was a bunch of people and they um, had Tourette's and they were doing a stage show, like a production. And weirdly, yeah. when they were all singing, it may be the same for you, none of them had their ticks. Duncan has small balls. Yeah, well, see, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's just one of those things, you know. Um, when I edit, I'm, I'm quite loud, but when I don't, I'm quite loud. That actually, that didn't go anywhere. I'm just fucking loud, really. And at what point did you make the decision to not try? I mean, obviously at weddings you try and hide it, but um, it seems like you've embraced it now. Um, it's, we'll yeah, get onto yeah. the TikTok stuff soon, but at what point were you like, oh well, this is absolutely pointless. I've got to read, so I need to deal with it, and uh, I'm not going to hide it anymore, and I'm just going to own it. I guess it was just when when people wanted to see. Oh, because. The funny thing is, people go to me, oh, I've never met anyone with Tourette's. The only one I've ever seen was, fuck, in the episode on Shortland Street. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, there's, oh, there's only a couple of things out there or in New Zealand that, that really support people with Tourette's. And I wanted to push it out there for all those old Pukamunas and all those sorts, of, you know, all the whanau out there so they could understand it more and not judge me when I'm walking down the road. Oh, that was one of the big reasons, was, yeah. Because have you, have you got yourself into some pretty interesting situations? Because obviously people that don't know and have Ooh. never met you, do you have like a medic alert bracelet so you can say, I'm not just lying and saying I have Tourette's. I've literally got Tourette's. Like, it's a tick. I cannot help it. Well, but before blowing up on TikTok, I just used to say, look, look, look I'm so sorry, dear. You know, I've, I've got Tourette's. And if they don't accept that, fuck, well, they can piss off. I don't give a shit. Have you had any issues like walking past, say, a couple of cops that are on the beat? <laughs> Well, when I was younger, um, this was like four or five years ago, um, there was a dog, um, the dog catcher was doing like something around our house and um, and there was always cops around our area and then there was a dog one on the road and I was like, oh, that's a big looking ass dog. I yelled something at the dog and then I yelled something at him. I, anyway, anyway, um, I saw them walking down the road and I yelled slut at one of them and then they came back and tried to arrest me but I was like, oh mate, I've got treats. And they're like, oh, do you? 
And I was like, yeah, I'm like, oh, well, sorry, sorry about that. Then they kind of just rocked off. <laughs> Fuck, it was, a, it was the most awkward situation, but yeah, nearly got arrested. But there's been other times, I'll tell you another story, when I go to the um, airport, Fuck! I just yell bomb. I'll yell anything oh. I can. Oh. Drug oh yeah, it's horrible, man. Yeah. I'm not so bad with the drugs, but like when I when I landed in Bali with my missus, um, I did almost get us in a bit of hot water there. So yeah, it's fucking pretty bad. Let's chat about TikTok. Um, how long ago did you join? And uh, she's going gangbusters for you. My flatmate started doing it before me, but I joined about a month ago, and um, we've pretty much gained 110,000 people in a month. Fuck! Yeah, which is wow, wow loose. Wait. How many? Because there's people that are um, directly following you, your TikTok account. How many views of all your videos had? In one week, I could have a <laughs> uh, 1.6 million. The week before that, I had 2.5 million. <laughs> it's massive, bro. It's like it's very nerve wracking because you go out on the street and these people are like that's Uncle Tix, and I'm like, I don't know that kind. Can you monetize TikTok? Is that like how do you do that? So through product placement or what? what? So every time I go live, ironically, I've been blocked from going live for a week, but I'm going to be going live again tonight because I get my privileges back. I must have said something along the live and it got me real worked up, like penis or fucking fuckhead or something. Um, and yeah, I got in trouble and they took me down for a week, but I can monetize it because people just send me money because they want to see more. They're, they'll literally click on it and go, oh, hey, here's fucking $5. Can you, can you say something like you usually would not just sit there? I'm doing my own thing anyway. And they're like, mean, there's another $2. So it's just like, yeah, you can make money off it. That wasn't originally the idea was to make money off TikTok. Oh, but it's blowing up so much that, you know, I could almost quit my job now and make this my main job. Oh, nice. We'll send you a uh, we'll send you a rock singlet and you can just say that um, Roger's a bald prick and uh, over and over and that'll... I mean, we'll chip prick. in for that. <laughs> <laughs> there's our next tvc sorted <laughs> next com tv commercial hey we uh, can get you to shoot it you can get clip the ticket twice <laughs> now, now we're talking the rock